while you're driving? It's my lawyer. It's about this thing with Electra Games. Yeah, well, deal with it when you get home. I like to deal with my problems right away instead of waiting till they explode. What the hell does that mean? You know what it means. Look, if it's about the money, I told you. I'll handle it. Oh, you'll handle it? Yeah. How are you gonna handle it, Simon? We're bleeding money. That's our nest egg that's shrinking, not just yours. <laughs> Lori, it's okay, honey. Now look what you did. Damn it, Blair! yours about might have been the car crash i forget how about we forget about the bad things and we think about something good you remember what today is right grade three, grade three! <laughs> good morning eloise <laughs> oh i know i know i have to get organized so. <laughs> Well, uh, almost tripped over that one again. <laughs> uh, but hey, no, I know you're so busy, and I am sure I can find some time. Ugh, what would I do without you? <laughs> I don't know, but it wouldn't be pretty. <sighs> Come on, honey, you gotta eat up. You don't wanna be late for your first day. You know what will happen? They'll make you clean the gym floor with a toothbrush. No, they won't. Yes, they will. It's real. Eloise? Is that true? Oh, you are lucky that you even get a toothbrush. Most kids have to use their tongue. <laughs> Mom. What? Why did we have to leave our old house? You know this, Lori. Daddy and Mommy decided it was better for everyone if we didn't live together anymore. But I miss my friends. I know, but you're gonna make new ones, starting today. The reason you guys don't wanna live together, does that have anything to do with me? No. Honey, of course not. Okay. Right now, you need to eat. Else I'm gonna have to walk to the school by myself. Why can't we drive? Drive? It's like five blocks. That's not the real reason. It's because of the crash. All right. I'll race you. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun today, and I'll be right here waiting for you at three, okay? Okay. And I made you this. Honey, it's wonderful. First day of grade three. What a little artist you are. I love it. I love you, Mommy. Oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> have a good day. I will. Okay. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's my favorite client. Ah, uh, I'm doing okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. So, I got some news. Uh, let me guess. They turned us down. Not even a counteroffer. 
Listen, Blair. Don't take this the wrong way, but is there anything you're not telling me? Like what? They used your code without permission in a best-selling mobile game. Tens of millions of dollars are on the line here, and they could have settled for a tiny fraction of that. I mean, if I were them, I'd have taken that deal. Well, it's Kincaid. She's ruthless. And they're incapable of admitting they screwed up. She must really have a hate on for you to put her company on the line like that. No, well, she's not the only one. <laughs> you know, after we're done with her, we should go after that deadbeat husband of yours. If half of what you told me about him is true, I'd do that for free. <laughs> well, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> You okay? <sighs> yeah, I had a bad dream last night. I'm not surprised. You've had a rough couple of months. How's your daughter doing? She survive a move? She, yeah, today is her first day of school, so so far so good. <laughs> well, I look forward to meeting her. Well, there's a standing invitation. You know that. After we nail this bastard to the wall, my schedule is going to open up a bit, and I'll take you up on that. Uh, it's a date. Ooh, haven't had one of those in a long time either. <laughs> Bye. Thank okay, you. Bye. <laughs> Tell me with what? We're separated, Simon. Miss Horn? Yes. Hi, I'm looking for my daughter, Lori Aiken. I believe she's in your class. Aiken? Lori? Is she new at Maplewood? Uh, yeah, we just moved here a couple months ago. I see. Did you come to the orientation session? No, I was working, but my daughter was here with her nanny. Ah, that must be why I don't recognize you. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't have a Lori. Was she in the split class with Mrs. Chang? Look, all I know is my daughter was supposed to meet me right outside after school. This isn't like her. Well, I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Why don't we go down to the office and check in and we'll... Okay. I don't understand. Neither do I, but we don't seem to have a student registered here by that name. That's impossible. I... <laughs> Lori Aiken, L-O-R-I-A-Y-K-E-N. Yeah, I've already checked twice. We have a Lori Craft and a Lori spelled L-A-U, but there's no Aiken in our system. This is insane. I registered her here myself. I dropped her off this morning. I watched her walk in the door. Your system's wrong. Maybe she went home on her own or with some friends. So you admit she was here. That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? That I'm some crazy person who's gone off her meds? Okay, calm down. I am trying to help okay, you. Okay, don't tell me to calm down. I'm not the one who screwed up and lost an eight-year-old girl. Hi, have you seen my daughter? Her name's Lori. She's in grade three. Brown hair kind of looks like me. No? Has anyone seen my daughter? Her name's Lori. She's eight. Brown hair. Lori, 
Honey, I was so... worried. Side, the corner of Collingwood and Vine. Calculating route. Come on in. Where's who? Lori? Blair. Lori. She's not here. Simon, she's missing. Our daughter is missing. I, I, I went to school to pick her up and it's like she's just, she's just disappeared. Those idiots said she wasn't even enrolled there. I, I, I can't find her nanny. The number's been disconnected and I think she's been kidnapped. <sighs> kidnapped? Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Our daughter is missing. This is because of the accident, Blair. This has nothing to do with the accident. Oh, we were both traumatized by what happened, okay? But you need to find a way to deal with this. Stop talking about the accident, okay? Oh my God! You know perfectly well the only reason why we walked away from that was because of my reflexes. Yeah, well, I wish your reflexes had been enough. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, for Christ's sakes. She's dead, okay? Lori is dead. <sighs> what, did, what did she just say? We all didn't walk away from that accident, Blair. Our daughter isn't missing. She's buried in Hillcrest Cemetery. No. Why do you think I've been texting you? I haven't seen you in a month. You don't return my calls. And then you, you burst in here with this insanity about a, a kidnapping? I'm trying my best here. Really, I am. You keep pushing me away. If not me, fine. Talk to your shrink, okay? You need to open up. Uh, tell her about these delusions of guilt you keep having. You don't have to 
do this alone. I can go with you. We can do it together. What do you say? <laughs> Blair, you won't shut me out. Blair. Dr. Pierce. Mrs. A. I need help. See you next week. Blair, take a breath and tell me what's wrong. My daughter is missing. Your daughter? This would be Lori, am I right? Yes. Look, I should probably just go to the police. But I need to know something first. Am I crazy? Well. That's not exactly a clinical term. No, you, you know what I mean. Could I have imagined the last two months? I mean... Perhaps we should go back to my office? Just, just tell me. It... Is my daughter dead? What do you think? <laughs> I walked her to school this morning. I, it was her first day of grade three. She was nervous. <laughs> she was afraid she wasn't going to make any friends. <laughs> and now everyone's telling me that's not what happened. It, it's like I can't trust my own memories. I... Memories help maintain emotional equilibrium. They aren't set in stone. Studies have shown that they change over time, which can be a good thing in cases of extreme trauma, like the loss of a child, for instance. <laughs> my daughter is not dead. She's not. She's... I know you don't want to believe that. <laughs> But I also know that if you don't allow yourself to accept the truth, that wound will never heal. It's not the truth. It, it, it's not. It... Blair, listen to me. Blair. Slow down, Mrs. Aiken. You say your daughter's dead? No. That's what everyone wants me to believe. She's not. So what's this about a car accident? That was two months ago. <laughs> but you said she was in the car. She survived. She doesn't have a scratch on her. We were on our way back from a concert at Lori's school when it happened. It's my lawyer. It's about this thing with Electra Games. Simon was obsessed with get-rich-quick schemes. Just before the concert, I'd found out he'd blown his trust fund on some pie-in-the-sky investment opportunity that turned out to be a scam. Look, if it's about the money, I told you. I'll handle it. Oh, you'll handle it? Yeah. How are you gonna handle it, Simon? We're bleeding money. That's our nest egg that's shrinking, not just yours. <laughs> Lori, it's okay. <laughs> now look what you did. How many times do we have the same gosh darn conversation? We're gonna keep having it until you fix it! Can you guys just stop fighting for once? Okay, I'm sorry. Just calm down, okay? We're just talking, honey. It's fine. <laughs> Damn it, Blair! Keep your eyes on the road! I'm trying! Stop criticizing me and help me! It was my fault. 
I let him get to me. I took my eyes off the road. But it doesn't matter. She disappeared. Someone took her. It's the only explanation. I'm going to look into this, Mrs. Aiken. Can you wait here for me? <laughs> Mrs. Aiken? What? Is everything all right? No, someone's hacked my phone. What makes you say that? All the photos I've taken of her over the last two months, they're all gone, deleted. There may be a simpler explanation. What are you, a programmer now? Because I am. And I While you're driving? It's my lawyer. It's about this thing with electric games. Yeah, we'll deal with it when we get home. I like to deal with my problems right away instead of waiting till they explode. What the hell does that mean? You know what it means. Look, if it's about the money, I told you. I'll handle it. Oh, you'll handle it? Yeah. How are you gonna handle it, Simon? We're bleeding money. That's our nest egg that's shrinking, <laughs> not just yours. <laughs> Lori, it's okay, honey. Now look what you did. Damn it, Blair! Lori. Lori? Huh? Hey, honey. Did you have a bad dream again? Yes, I did. Me too. Really? What was yours about? Might have been the car crash. I forget. How about we forget about the bad things and we think about something good? You remember what today is, right? Grade three! Grade three! <laughs> good morning, Eloise. <laughs> oh. I know, I know, I have to get organized. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, almost tripped over that one again. <laughs> uh, but hey, no, I know you're so busy, and I am sure I can find some time. Oh, what would I do without you? <laughs> I don't know, but it wouldn't be pretty. <sighs> Come on, honey, you gotta eat up. You don't wanna be late for your first day. You know what will happen? They'll make you clean the gym floor with a toothbrush. No, they won't. Yes, they will. It's real. Eloise? Is that true? Oh, you are lucky that you even get a toothbrush. Most kids have to use their tongue. <laughs> Mom. What? Why did we have to leave our old house? How do you know this, Lori? Daddy and Mommy decided it was better for everyone if we didn't live together anymore. But I miss my friends. I know, but you're gonna make new ones, starting today. The reason you guys don't wanna live together, does that have anything to do with me? No. Honey, of course not. Okay. Right now, you need to eat. Else I'm gonna have to walk to the school by myself. Why can't we drive? Drive? It's like five blocks. That's not the real reason. It's because of the crash. All right. I'll race you.
the gym floors now. <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun today, and I'll be right here waiting for you at three, okay? Okay. And I made you this. Honey, it's wonderful. First day of grade three. What a little artist you are. I love it. I love you, Mommy. Oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> have a good day. I will. Okay. Mwah. <laughs> Hey, how's my favorite client? Ah, uh, I'm doing okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. So, I got some news. Uh, let me guess. They turned us down. Not even a counteroffer. Listen, Blair, don't take this the wrong way, but is there anything you're not telling me? Like what? They used your code without permission in a best-selling mobile game. Tens of millions of dollars are on the line here, and... They could have settled for a tiny fraction of that. I mean, if I were them, I'd have taken that deal. Well, it's Kincaid. She's ruthless. And they're incapable of admitting they screwed up. She must really have a hate on for you to put her company on the line like that. No, well, she's not the only one. <laughs> you know, after we're done with her, we should go after that deadbeat husband of yours. If half of what you told me about him is true, I'd do that for free. <laughs> well, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> You okay? Uh, yeah, I had a bad dream last night. I'm not surprised. You've had a rough couple of months. How's your daughter doing? She survived the move? Yeah, today is her first day of school, so, so far so good. <laughs> well, I look forward to meeting her. Well, there's a standing invitation, you know that. After we nail this bastard to the wall, my schedule is gonna open up a bit, and I'll take you up on that. Uh, it's a date. Ooh, haven't had one of those in a long time either. <laughs> bye, thank okay, you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Tell me with what? We're separated, Simon. Miss Horn? Yes. Hi, I'm looking for my daughter, Lori Aiken. I believe she's in your class. Aiken? Lori? Is she new at Maplewood? Uh, yeah, we just moved here a couple months ago. I see. Did you come to the orientation session? No, I was working, but my daughter was here with her nanny. Ah, uh, that must be why I don't recognize you. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't have a Lori. Was she in the split class with Mrs. Chang? Look, all I know is my daughter was supposed to meet me right outside after school. This isn't like her. Well, I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Why don't we go down to the office and check in and we'll... Just... Okay. I don't understand. Neither do I, but we don't seem to have a student registered here by that name. 
That's impossible. I, <laughs> Lori Aiken, L-O-R-I-A-Y-K-E-N. Yeah, I've already checked twice. We have a Lori Craft and a Lori spelled L-A-U, but there's no Aiken in our system. This is insane. I registered her here myself. I dropped her off this morning. I watched her walk in the door. Your system's wrong. Maybe she went home on her own or with some friends. So you admit she was here. That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? That I'm some crazy person who's gone off her meds? Okay, calm down. I am trying to help you. Okay, don't tell me to calm down. I'm not the one who screwed up and lost an eight-year-old girl. Have you seen my daughter? Her name's Lori. She's in grade three. Brown hair, kind of looks like me. No? Has anyone seen my daughter? Her name's Lori. She's eight. Brown hair. Side, the corner of Collingwood and Vine. Calculating route. Come on in. Where's who? Lori? Blair. Lori. She's not here. Simon, she's missing. Our daughter is missing. I, I, I went to school to pick her up, and it's like she's just, she's just disappeared. Those idiots said she wasn't even enrolled there. I, I, I can't find her nanny. The number's been disconnected, and... I think she's been kidnapped. <sighs> kidnapped? Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Our daughter is missing. This is because of the accident, Blair. This has nothing to do with the accident. Oh, we were both traumatized by what happened, okay? 
You need to find a way to deal with this. Stop talking about the accident, okay? Oh my God! You know perfectly well the only reason why we walked away from that was because of my reflexes. Yeah, well, I wish your reflexes had been enough. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, for Christ's sakes. She's dead, okay? Lori is dead. <sighs> what, did, what did you just say? We all didn't walk away from that accident, Blair. Our daughter isn't missing. She's buried in Hillcrest Cemetery. No. Why do you think I've been texting you? I haven't seen you in a month. You don't return my calls, and then you, you burst in here with this insanity about a, a kidnapping? I'm trying my best here. Really, I am. You keep pushing me away. If not me, fine. Then talk to your shrink, okay? You need to open up. Uh, tell her about these delusions of guilt I keep having. You don't have to do this alone. I can go with you. We can do it together. What do you say? <laughs> Claire, they won't shut me out. Claire. Dr. Pierce, Mrs. Aiken. I need help. See you next week. Blair, take a breath and tell me what's wrong. My daughter is missing. Your daughter? This would be Lori, am I right? Yes. Look, I should probably just go to the police. But I need to know something first. Am I crazy? Well... That's not exactly a clinical term. No, you, you know what I mean. Could I have imagined the last two months? I mean... Perhaps we should go back to my office? Just, just tell me. It... Is my daughter dead? What do you think? <laughs> I walked her to school this morning. I, it was her first day of grade three. She was nervous. <laughs> she was afraid she wasn't going to make any friends. <laughs> and now everyone's telling me that's not what happened. It, it, it's like I can't trust my own memories. I... Memories help maintain emotional equilibrium. They aren't set in stone. Studies have shown that they change over time, which can be a good thing in cases of extreme trauma, like the loss of a child, for instance. <laughs> my daughter is not dead. She's not. She's... I know you don't want to believe that. <laughs> But I also know that if you don't allow yourself to accept the truth, that wound will never heal. It's not the truth. It, it, it's not. It... Blair, listen to me. Blair.
Slow down, Mrs. Aiken. You say your daughter's dead? No. If that's what everyone wants me to believe, she's not. So what's this about a car accident? That was two months ago. <laughs> but you said she was in the car. She survived. She doesn't have a scratch on her. We were on our way back from a concert at Lori's school when it happened. It's my lawyer. It's about this thing with Electra Games. Simon was obsessed with get-rich-quick schemes. Just before the concert, I'd found out he'd blown his trust fund on some pie-in-the-sky investment opportunity that turned out to be a scam. Look, if it's about the money, I told you. I'll handle it. Oh, you'll handle it? Yeah. How are you gonna handle it, Simon? We're bleeding money. That's our nest egg that's shrinking, not just yours. Lori, it's okay. Now look what he did. How many times do you want to have the same gosh darn conversation? We're gonna keep having it until you fix it! Can you guys just stop fighting for once? Okay, I'm sorry. Just calm down, okay? We're just talking, honey. It's fine. <laughs> Damn it, Blair! Keep your eyes on the road! I'm trying! Stop criticizing me and help me! It was my fault. I let him get to me. I took my eyes off the road. But it doesn't matter. She disappeared. Someone took her. It's the only explanation. I'm going to look into this, Mrs. Aiken. Can you wait here for me? <laughs> Mrs. Aiken? What? Is everything all right? No, someone's hacked my phone. What makes you say that? All the photos I've taken of her over the last two months, they're all gone, deleted. There may be a simpler explanation. What are you, a programmer now? Because I am, and I need to speak to someone in your IT department because we need to do a forensic data scan right away. Mrs. Aiken. Stop calling me that, I hate that. My name is Blair. Fine, Blair, I need you to sit down, please. I know how hard this must be for you, but I checked our records of the car accident, and there was a fatality. Oh. So I pulled the file, and there's a copy of the death certificate. Do you want to see it? I'm sorry, Mrs. Aiken.
Honey, eat up. If you're late for your first day, they're gonna make you clean the gym floor with a toothbrush. No, they won't. Oh. <laughs> they don't use my toothbrush. They're gonna use your toothbrush, yeah? <laughs> right now, you need to eat. Also, I'm gonna have to walk to the school by myself. Why can't we just drive? Why? It's like five blocks. That's not the real reason. <laughs> Blair? It's okay. I wasn't the best father, and I... Hey. I'm sorry if I was insensitive before. I didn't, I wasn't trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one that's sorry. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <sighs> Feels like she could come in at any moment. Except that's not gonna happen, is it? What are you doing? She's dead, Simon. She's not coming back. I said you needed to deal with it. I didn't mean for you to rip it off like a band-aid. As strange as that is for me to say. It's okay. I've held on to the past long enough. I need to move on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I can go. No, it's okay. Tell you what, I'll help you pack everything up. I'm just gonna use the washroom first. Just down the hall? Yeah. Oh my gosh. friend tells me things are going well with the missus. Nice work. Is she there with you now? Simon. Kincaid, you son of a gun! Do it. Give me this. Hello? 
Why, why would she be calling you, huh? She said something about nice work. What does that mean? I have no idea. I didn't talk to her. You did. Jeez. This whole thing is a lie, isn't it? You two are in on this together, aren't you? You need to calm down and uh, think like a rational adult, okay? Don't tell me to calm down! You tried to make me think my child was dead, Simon! How much is she paying you, huh? How much? Stop it. You're not making any sense. Uh! Where's Lori? Where is she? Lori! <laughs> Cynthia, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I would just. What's wrong? Oh no, you're not going anywhere! What are you doing? Where's she? Where she is? <laughs> who the hell do you think you are? I'm her husband. Who are you? God, I'm her lawyer. Look. I'm sorry, okay? But your client needs help. She's delusional. It's okay, he's gone, he's gone. This is Simon's idea, I know it was. But he'd need Kincaid's money to pull it off. They'd have to pay Eloise to disappear, Dr. Pierce to tow the party line. It would be expensive. And falsifying the records, that would be Kincaid too. I mean, she may have an ego the size of Nebraska, but she knows her way around a database. And she has an army of hero-worshipping code monkeys who just love doing her bidding. Wait, so you think the CEO of one of the hottest game companies in the industry is in on this? She's not just in on it, she's bankrolling it. Do you not get it? They're trying to gaslight me, make me think I'm going crazy to destroy my credibility. So all of this, just to win a lawsuit? You said it yourself, tens of millions of dollars are on the line, maybe more. <sighs> okay, look, assuming you're right and Lori was kidnapped, what makes you think she's still alive? No, Simon's a terrible husband, but he's not a psychopath. He, he wouldn't hurt his own child, no. He wants her back, that's what this is about. She's not dead. Blair, don't take this the wrong way, but I've never actually met your daughter. I mean, until 15 minutes ago, I've never been in this house. Meaning? Meaning I'm your lawyer, and I took this case because you convinced me it was a good one. But this is my reputation at stake here. You saw what he just did to me right now. I saw a grieving father who doesn't want to be reminded of his dead daughter. Oh, my God. You think I'm making this up? No, I'm not saying that. But you need to see this from my perspective. This whole case rests on the jury believing your version of the events. If you start ranting about conspiracy theories, a daughter who may or may not be alive, Kincaid won't have to destroy your credibility. You'll do it for her. What other option do I have? My child is out there somewhere waiting for me to come and get her. I'm not just gonna sit around here and make excuses for why I shouldn't do everything I can to find her. I'm sorry. I have to get ready for tomorrow. You will be there, won't you? I will be there. Okay. Then I'll see you in court.
Lori? Lori? We may have an intruder in the main house. Seal all exits, ASAP. Copy that. Keep looking. There's Harriet Kincaid. Behave yourself. I hate that woman. They bring on extra security. Blair? Harriet? I hear you've had some difficulties at home lately. Nice outfit. I hope they have it in orange. What are you doing here? Protecting the memory of our daughter, Blair. You son hey, of a- Hey, hey, Blair! No, 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 no. We're fine. Everything's fine. Damn it, I will not let you throw away everything we have worked for. Now you will sit there and don't say a word until I tell you. Uh, Your Honor, I'd like to make a statement. Proceed, Mrs. Aiken. I have a daughter, Lori. She's eight years old. Yesterday was her first day of grade three. And she drew me this picture. <clears throat> After school, I went to pick her up, but she wasn't there. When I went to look for her, they told me that she was never registered there. And then I was told that she was dead that I had imagined our last two months together. <clears throat> the defense will tell you that I'm delusional and unstable. My lawyer thinks I should keep my mouth shut, that by speaking out like this, I'm only making things worse. But I believe my husband and the defendant know where Lori is and have conspired to keep her from me in order to sabotage this trial and my credibility. Your Honor, I've already been to the police and they refuse to do anything. But with the court order, you can change that. You can bring her back to me. 
I appeal to you as a mother to help me find my daughter before it's too late. Your Honor, what Mrs. Aiken has failed to mention is she was found responsible for the accident that caused the death of her daughter this year. In the interest of the plaintiff's mental health, it might be better if we acquainted you with the rest of the facts in private. If it's relevant to this case, the entire court should hear it, Mr. Payne. Very well. We have the death certificate of Lori Aiken, provided by the Department of Public Records. I also have a sworn statement from Mrs. Aiken's psychiatrist, Dr. Amanda Pierce, that states the plaintiff has never accepted responsibility in the death of her daughter. That, that's not true. She didn't die. That's a lie. I wish I could say this is all just a harmless delusion, but unfortunately, last night, Miss Aikens crossed the line. We have a video recording taken at my client's home that clearly identifies the plaintiff as the perpetrator. We've given a copy of that recording to the police with the understanding that charges will be filed against Mrs. Aikens shortly. Jeez, Blair. I went looking for her. I know Your they Honor, have I'd her. I'd like to request a recess to consult No, her we don't have time. Blair, you understand? Order. 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 Order in the court. Your Honor, we'd like to file for dismissal based on the grounds that the plaintiff is non compos mentis. Her testimony can't be considered credible. No! Order in the court. God. Blair, restrain that woman. I am going to find her, and when I do, you will regret this. More threats, Blair. I feel empathy for you. I really do. Oh, screw your empathy! Get off me! I can't believe you just caved. The judge wanted to lock you up. I am the only reason you're not in jail right now. Although if the police get a hold of that tape, that can change real quick. You could have backed up my testimony instead of making me look like a crazy person. You know what, you did that to yourself, Blair. What the hell were you thinking breaking into Kincaid's house? What would you do, huh? If it was your daughter, what would you do? What I would not do is the one thing that helps my enemies the most. If the judge grants that motion for dismissal, you're going to be on the hook for Kincaid's legal fees. You think I still care about this case or the money? Are you insane? You're missing the point. Who is going to listen to you if you're in jail? If no one will help me find Lori, I'll find her on my own. <sighs> OK. OK. Blair. Blair. OK, relax. Jeez, <gasps> oh, Blair. Oh. Goodness. You sleeping together? Is that what's going on? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Listen to your lawyer. OK, you're imagining things. Yeah, and you're imagining things if you think you're going to ride off into the sunset together. She's a billionaire, Simon. You'd need a loan to buy a used car. <sighs> Trust me, you're being played. Not everything's about money, OK? Oh, really? That's funny coming from you. Oh, you don't care about money, do you? No, 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 that's why you have a multi-million dollar lawsuit. What, you're just trying to do the right thing? Oh. Don't give me that crap. You know what? Think what you want. Press charges. I don't care. I want Lori, and I'm going to find her, OK? <sighs> you OK? No, I'm not OK. My daughter's dead. My wife is a lunatic. Oh. Kids meal from Happy Burger. Bon appetit. What's the matter? I forget the ketchup or something? When do I get to see my mom? We've been over this. 
When the judge says you can't. What about Eloise? Why can't I see her? She's on another job. Do you really work for a judge? Yes, I do. Okay. Now let's eat. Okay. What's the matter now? Kid, me too. You have your hands full here. <laughs> yeah, moving day. Yeah. Looks like you've got a little helper. Uh, I'll take whatever help I can get. <laughs> uh, well, hey, um, no pressure at all. But if you ever find yourself needing hands inside or with the little one, here's my card. these cards made here a few months ago. Do you remember me? Can't say I do. <laughs> but I remember those. Thought it was a bit weird you only wanted 10. Usually when people get business cards, they uh, order in bulk. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was for a party. A little inside joke with my coworkers. <laughs> what do you need? Well, I was going over my old credit card statements and I noticed that you guys undercharged me by $15. So I thought I'd come by and settle up. My friends always say I'm honest to a fault. <laughs> okay, so do you have the invoice? I'm sorry, I don't. Is that a problem? Nah, it should be under your phone number there. Are you still at 4282 Harvard Street? That's me. Uh, here, keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. for your fake identity, don't give the printers a real address. <coughs> what do you want? What do you think? Where's Lord? I don't know. No, I don't believe you. It's the truth! Someone had to put you up to this. Who? Was it Kincaid's bodyguard? He didn't tell me his name. <laughs> Is this him? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. All, all I had to do was gain her trust, okay? I have no idea where they took her after I picked her up from school. She's not the only one who trusted you. Stop! Look, I'm 
I'm sorry, okay? I just I needed the money. Where are we going? You're going to tell the police everything you just told me. No, no, no. You don't understand. I can't. He'll come after me. A little girl's life is at stake. Come on! No! Right. Oh. And things are gonna get a lot crazier unless I get some uh, answers, Simon. Yeah, well, go ahead. Because the more you hurt me, the more believable my story gets. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I'm just playing into your oh. hand, huh? Okay, she's alive, okay? Tell me something I don't know. She's with Kincaid's fixer. I could have figured that out on my own. Wait, 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 no, 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 don't, don't. I'm seeing her tonight, okay? I'm seeing her tonight at midnight, Pier 12. Too easy. Uh, no, that's the plan. We get the lawsuit thrown out. I get our daughter back, and we... And then what? Come on, Simon, I know you too well. There has to be money involved somehow. For your information, we're in love, okay? I don't care about your love. I care about Lori. And seeing your ass behind bars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you can't go to the cops. Oh, yeah? Watch me. No, wait, no. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. you're right. Okay, you're right. Kincaid's fixer is a bad man. If he thinks the cops are onto him, who knows what he's gonna do. Listen, I can take you to him. Okay, I can. Then let me fix this, okay? This is Simon Aiken. I'm opening the door. She's in here. She attacked me. She, she's unconscious, though. Come on. I just spoke with your husband. He denies making any incriminating statements. And this, 
wasn't much help. Didn't you listen to the recording? There was no recording. He must have deleted it after he knocked me out. Uh-huh. Look, he told me Kincaid's fixer has Lori. You need to bring him in for questioning. Does this fixer have a name? I don't know who he is. He was driving the car that ran down Eloise. I mean, Eliza. The unemployed actress you say was your nanny? Yes. The one you were seen struggling with right before she died? OK, that, that is not how it happened. Kincaid pays the guy. Why don't you bring her in and ask her? Look, Mrs. Aiken, I can tell you really believe everything you're saying. But without some hard evidence, it's going to come down to your word against your husband's. And I'm afraid he's pressing charges for assault. You beat him pretty badly, nearly broke his leg. He kidnaps my daughter, and I'm the one that's being charged. Well, that's great police work. Stand up and turn around. This is ridiculous. Sorry about this. Yeah, sure you are. I really am. For what it's worth, your husband seems like a real piece of work. Cynthia! That, that's my lawyer. I just heard. What the hell happened? There's a guy working for King Katie, some kind of professional muscle, probably ex-military. He was at the courthouse. Simon says he has Lori. The officers who busted you told me you tortured him. Listen to me. Simon is supposed to pick her up tonight at midnight. You have to follow him. Blair, this has gone way too far. You cannot expect me to take all this conspiracy stuff seriously. Not now. We're friends. I'll do whatever I can to help with your legal and medical care, but I'm not going to jeopardize my career for this. What are you talking about medical care? What? They're sending a shrink over for an evaluation. <laughs> Let's go. So those two just get away with murder while I rot in the funny farm? What happens to Lori, Cynthia? What happens to her? Let's go, now. Ms. Kincaid asked me to use my discretion, and discretion tells me that you're a liability. Hey, I handled the situation. Oh, really? So you've always walked with a limp? Okay. Should watch your tone, pal. In case you haven't noticed, I got your boss's ear. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. And one word for me, you're off the payroll. Quaking in my boots, Romeo. Mm-hmm. Miss Michaels, can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, you can introduce me to your friend. Don't think I've had the pleasure. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like lawyers. Uh-huh. Can't say I blame him. Hmm. I didn't know you were so chummy with Kincaid's hired help. Yeah, we're uh, in the same book club. I see that. Have a good day, Mr. Aiken. You too. Hmm. Hey, bit of advice. Don't go down the same rabbit hole as your client. You seem very smart. Blair. Of course they send you. I'll be fine, officer. Thank you. Wait, wait. Can you take these off, please? She's my psychiatrist. She's here to help me. I'm not going to strangle her. <clears throat> Sit down, please. So you can pretend you're doing your job? I don't think so. The DA wants to know if you're fit to stand trial. And you'll find that I'm not. So I don't take the stand. Wouldn't want me making any statements to put Harriet Kincaid in a bad light. Playing these games isn't going to help either of us get what we want. How much is she paying you to lie about Lori? How much is she paying you for this? If you're going to insist on talking about me, this is going to take all night. Oh, do you have somewhere to be? Yes. Home with my husband. Oh, that's right. Married with no kids. Never seemed like a worthwhile investment of time. Yeah, it wouldn't to someone like you. Does Mr. Pierce know you sell them for money? Other people's children? It's now quarter after 10. By 11, I'm going to have my preliminary assessment done, whether you decide to cooperate or not. Now, please sit down. Blair, stay on your side of the table. And if I don't? 
I'll call that nice officer back in here and you'll have another assault charge like the one on your husband. Whatever fantasies you might be harboring about getting out of here, they're not going to work. There's nowhere to go. It's over, Blair. It's really, really hard to accept the truth. But it's the only thing to do. It's okay, I've got this. It's all right, Claire. Just let it out. Lori! What about Lori? <laughs> She's dead. That's right. She is. You see how easy that was? <laughs> Oh my gosh. You all right in there, Doc? Uh, actually, uh, I could use some help. She's sane or what? Oh, she's mad as a hatter.
Kincaid. Is this something I can help you with? I'm sorry for the late hour. My associate told me about your interaction at the police station this afternoon. I just wanted to come by and make sure there was no misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Well, if you allow me to come in, I can explain. I'm just about to leave, so if there's something you want to discuss, we could do it tomorrow during business hours. The kind of arrangement I'm proposing is best done behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. So you want to bribe me to forget about the fact that you and my client's estranged husband are clearly working together? <sighs> what is it you think you know, Counselor? Why don't you tell me what you think I know? I'll tell you if you're right. Excuse me. What is it? I just heard from my contact on the force. Blair Aiken broke out of police custody. What? I bet she's gonna try and disrupt our little rendezvous tonight. Well, that can't happen. Do you understand me? I'm too exposed on this as it is. Lover boy, I'm gonna let him down easier hard. I gave you discretion for a reason. The kid? No loose ends. Time to get up. Going for a little ride. Night, night, Teddy. Boss, you know the judge? Uh-huh. This one. We won. Oh, does that mean I get to see my mom? That's right. They can to see her right now. Why would I need a gun? Well, because now you're my bodyguard. You need to protect me. This isn't the right way. We're not going to your house. We're meeting her somewhere else. 
My mom would not drive out this far. She hates driving. Is that so? I, I think I know her better than you do. You think you know a lot, don't you, kid? Just because I'm eight doesn't mean I'm stupid. No, I guess it doesn't. I have to pee. Too bad. Hold it. said we were friends. Stop it. Okay, stop it. Stop it, Laura. You know I hate it when you whine like this. All right. All right. You win. You win. What's up with your kid? It's none of your business. Maybe I make it my business. That would be a mistake. All right, take it easy. Try that again. Just tell your mom what a bad girl you've been. No, you won't. And I know you're lying. You're working for my dad. What makes you say that? You're a total douchebag. <laughs> Real pain in the ass. You know that kid? Yeah. My mom says it runs in the family. Well, she's right. to the original plan. What the heck are we doing out here? We're literally in the middle of nowhere. Where's Harriet? She's on her way. Ugh. Really? That's your answer? It doesn't tell me anything. Say hi to your old man, kid. I knew it. You doing squirt? Sorry. Huh? Happy to see your dad? Not really. That sounds like your mom. I thought we were going to the airport. Hold you. Something came up. But don't worry. Your replacement Bermuda's worth the wait. What's she talking about, uh, Daddy? Not now, honey. Okay, she's not answering my calls. What the hell's going on? Honey, let's get out of here. Well, hold on, just hang on. Hey, listen to me. I get it. You're her little lap dog. You know what that means? Pretty soon, you're gonna be my lap dog. So get her on the damn phone. Shut up, Mr. Aiken. Whoa, what are you doing with the gun? Blair! Got your husband and your daughter. Whoa. I know you care about one of them. If you want her to make it to her next birthday, just show yourself. You've got five seconds. Five, four. Hey, 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 take it easy with that. Three, two. I'm here. I'm here. Mommy. No, 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 no. It's gonna be okay. Honey, everything's gonna be all right. You should know, I just called 911. The cops are on their way. The cops that have a bowl of for you right now. You can check my phone if you don't believe me. How did you let this one get away? Throw me the phone. <laughs> really? That's your plan? So I'll bend over and pick it up like a moron. Uh... Hey! What are you doing? No, I don't look. Lori? 
It's okay. I'm not mad. But we gotta go, okay? We gotta go. So you wanna go on a trip? Yeah? We gotta get out of here. That sounds fun, right? For a trip? Playing with your dad? Yeah. Daddy? You're coming with me. never going to Bermuda, were we? What are you talking about? Answer the question! Where's David? David! Oh, is that his name? You mean the guy who stuck a gun in my gosh darn face? <sighs> you guys were gonna screw me the whole time, were you? Well, you sure catch on quick, don't you? I need help here right away. Shut up. Out of the car. Lori, don't move. We're driving out of here. Your mother's gonna let us. Don't test me, Simon. Oh, you're gonna shoot me in front of your own daughter? No mother would do that. You're right. Honey, close your eyes, okay? Okay. Okay. Ah! Lori, out of the car. 
Come here! I love oh. you. Kay came to my office. I knew something was up, so I followed her here. I owe you a big apology. It's okay. I called them. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything? Trust me, I got it all on tape. Oh, 
Sao 